glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby you're okay welcome to my channel my name's liam and today i need to do my food shop i really didn't want to i'm so tired honestly i don't know what is wrong with me but yeah i i was really toying with doing aldi and sainsbury's because i need things that i can't get in aldi however i've just been going through my list i've done my little shopping list um so i've wrote down um specific things that i need for ingredients for a couple of meals that i want to do and looking at it there isn't much there's probably more that it's going to be from sainsbury's than aldi i know you can get a lot of this stuff in aldi but it's very hit and miss the amount of times i've gone and there's only certain gravy that i like they don't have that i need some toiletry things and washing up liquid and deodorant and stuff like that so that i'm gonna have to get from sainsbury's anyway but yeah there's not an awful lot because i've still got i've got the cottage pie mix that i made which i'm gonna do on sunday with mash and my giant yorkie i've already got some burgers um in the freezer so i can thaw them out and that's another meal i, I feel like for the anxiety of doing two supermarkets i'm just as well to um just go to the one so i think i'm just going to head straight to sainsbury today and hope and pray that it is not so so expensive i feel like it is going to be but if i'm buying them bits anyway from sainsbury's do you know what i mean like the only good the other good thing is when i go to sainsbury's is i can do my scan as i go so if i feel like it's getting too pricey i can always cut some things out yeah we will see anyhow so that's what i'm going to do today so this is going to be a weird one because normally i just literally just do a shopping haul but i think i'm just going to mix it up because i don't want to split this into two videos because i'm literally all i'm planning on sharing with you guys is going shopping i'm going to do shopping i'm going to film a shopping haul i'll put all the prices on as normal and then i'm going to have some downtime this afternoon because i have my grandson tomorrow and thursday and like i said i just feel exhausted and i feel like i just need because I was out all day yesterday as well. I, I know you don't need to hear this, like, <laughs> but I'm listening to my body and I'm saying, I'm not feeling great. I'm going to have some me time this afternoon. So it's not gonna be a, it's not gonna be a usual day in the life. This is gonna be a, I'm gonna go do my food shop and <laughs> show you that. I hope that's okay for you all. Today is Tuesday for me. You'll be seeing this on Friday. So I hope that going into the weekend, you have a wonderful, wonderful time. You've got some beautiful plans. I'm gonna go shopping and I will catch up with you in a little bit. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. Sorrow and the old ways get washed out by the rain. Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. Cause I promise you.
expensive shopping haul. I'm going to start with the fridge items because I've got a couple of things to go into the freezer. No Bella don't start. Sorry if you can hear that very strange odd noise is my cat. She for those of you who are always around you know that Bella is a diva. She doesn't like me talking so she makes a racket every time I get on the camera. Right, so I got me and Martin a couple of pizzas just for those times when I just cannot be bothered and you know when you just don't fancy much. I like the four cheese, I either get that one or the mushroom but I fancied the four cheese again and got Martin the double pepperoni. I did burn <laughs> the roof of my mouth. The other day, I think I told you, Sunday, that's what I fancied, just having a pizza. So as soon as we got in from church, Martin whacked it in the oven. And this little mare, little piggy wiggy, was so hungry that I just didn't even think. And yeah, it burnt the top of my mouth, which I'm paying for now because every time I eat something, it's very, very painful. I will pop all the prices on the screen, um, like I always do. I've got another um, big size of these home chips. I got these as a little treaty treat. Um, they're on Bella. I'm just gonna let her out because I can't concentrate. <laughs> I can't concentrate if she's doing that. So it's the fruit collection. So there is mango and raspberry, summer berries and cream, strawberries and cream, and blueberries and cream. Do you know what? I was, on, I was on a little bit of a downer because the price is, honestly, I know you will completely get it because you're not blind, but I was, I, I was literally having like this terrible, terrible sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach that something really bad's around the corner. And do you know, I thought I'm gonna get some blooming ice cream because. Next week it'll probably be twenty pound or something, and it wouldn't surprise me. Like I'm, I'm saying that in a jokey fashion, but it's literally going to be like that. Um, I picked up just some six eggs because I don't really need them for anything this week. Just a couple of recipes, and um, my Yorkshire pudding. So I thought, don't buy more than what you need. I picked up some um, creme caramels just as a little treat after dinner one evening. And I picked up some Ski Smooth Yogurts. Martin does like those. I picked up our Smooth Orange Juice, not from Concentrate. If you know, you know. Picked up a little butter. I don't like that one as much as the Audi one. Um, this was on offer and whenever it's on offer I always get it, the sweet chilli Philadelphia, it's really yummy on um, 
Uh, what is it? Bagels. <laughs> Bagels. I'm like, oh. oh, donuts were coming into my head for some reason. Not donuts. I mean, it might be, no, no. Uh, I picked up some great before cheese. This is for those. I'm going to make those. Um, Oh, there's my shopping list. I was looking for this. I hope I did actually manage to get everything that I needed. Yes, I did. So I'm planning on doing ham and cheese, like like a fish cake, but ham and cheese. Yeah, and I thought the four cheese would be quite nice in that. I picked up some Martin. I picked up some Martin. Oh yeah, here you go. Here are Martin. <laughs> Oh my gosh guys I'm just too tired I picked up some wafer thin chicken slices for Martin he really likes having this with cucumber in his sandwiches I picked up I've got some cheese still in the fridge a block of cheese so I just picked up 10 slices because um, mostly it's for like toasties or something like that so it's convenient um, I picked up, I just picked up this smoked ham, Bavarian smoked ham, there's uh, five slices in there, I'm going to be using that for my um, ham and cheese, I'll just shred that up, That'd be, that sounds really nice, it's smoked. I also picked up Martin some roast chicken and stuffing um, slices, there's just four in there but yeah, nice change. This creeps me out, I don't know why. But this is the mints now. Like, I don't know. It just looks really, really strange. <laughs> but yeah, wanted to do a spag bowl this week. So that's my fridge and freezer. So I'm just gonna pop that stuff away and then I'll come back to you. Silly Billy here didn't bother to sort out the fridge before I went shopping. So I've got all of that to contend with, but I'm hoping that it's just gonna be a quick switch out i'll be back in a minute came back okie dokie then i just picked up one pepsi max for a treat oh, so much it doesn't fall over and then i just picked up three bottles of still water uh, basically it's all i could manage i can't carry in all that malarkey right let's move on to miscellaneous rubbish let me just put this water down there a minute okay i picked up a loaf of bread that's something that needs to be got like regularly um i picked up some <laughs> bagels um these are martin's favorite biscuits well one of he's got a couple of favorite biscuits but these are one of them picked up some of those these are my grandbaby's favorite biscuits and mine's but he'll save them for the grandbabies um i picked up this bag it's not very well organized i'll be honest i picked up four of his um porridge for work the golden syrup ones Bumpy beef hula hoops. That's actually the only crisps I actually picked up. Um, and then I needed to fill up some snacky snacks for the grandbabies. So I got some iced gems. A pack of dairy milk chocolate buttons. A pack of Cadbury's fudge fingers. I think that might have been it treat wise. Because this isn't for the grandbabies. <laughs> oh, busted. Uh, I needed some more gravy, so I picked up a big one of those. Picked up my family size Dolmio. grabbed a tin of hot dogs just because that's what babies like to have especially um ava well they all do to be fair i picked up some of sainsbury's own 
Um, these are the 14 Ultra Tower with Wings. Just normal for when you're a little bit lighter. Because all I had was nighttime pads, which is so wasteful. And then uh, the Ultra Long ones. Um, they're good prices, so it's worth stocking up on things like before they go out of our budget. I picked up a uh, bubble bath. This one smelled really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, it's not too girly. I don't like really, like, that sounds really weird because I'm quite girly. In baths and things, that I, I quite like masculine smells. But this is actually lavender and wild iris. But it smells masculine to me. It's not very, like, sickly sweet or anything. Picked up a six pack of just the scours. These ones I like to use for cleaning the bathroom. Because I just throw them away. Um, I needed some washing up liquids, just got a giant one of those, seemed better value, nothing's good value to be honest with you but it is what it is, just got some panty liners to pop into the basket, right, what have we got rolling around in the bottom of the bag, okay so I picked up some parsley, um, as you guys are fully well aware by now, I'm not very good with keeping them alive. You know, the fresh stuff, everything just dies on me. So I need it to last more than a couple of days. So I've got some dried uh, and some thyme. Need those for a recipe. Uh, as do I need pack. So I've got some golden breadcrumbs in the cupboard and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna use them. But I always do that with recipes. And then when I don't enjoy something, I think it's the recipe, but it's me. I cut corners. So I got the panko breadcrumbs, <laughs> basically. I did pick up a dumpling mix um, just to have in the cupboard because it lasts, it's got a long life on it. Well, it's got a year till the end of the year um, because the suet doesn't always last that long. So. Uh, I, ne I just needed a little bit of self-raising flour, so I grabbed um, a small one of those. Put store in it, otherwise it just goes bad. This 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 broke my heart. Let me just tell you, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. They didn't have my deodorant in anyway, the actual one that I like to use. Um, but the Dove deodorants that they did have in were £4.50, guys. £4.50. I'm not being funny. I'm just not paying that. Um, I bought a roll-on last week and I'm I'm just not happy. This is a, not the full size. This is not the one that mine normally has. But this was still £2.50. Um, I think that we're going to have to look at other options for deodorant because I'm not paying £4.50 for a can of deodorant that lasts a week. I'm just not doing it. Uh, this is my favourite toothpaste. This actually does whiten your teeth. When people are always asking um, about my teeth, I've never had them professionally whitened or anything. It's this stuff. It does make your teeth feel sensitive so don't use this as an every everyday thing just use it um for a week or so and then you need to either use a sensitive toothpaste or a regular toothpaste just switch it up switch it up because i do I, for some reason it does make them really sensitive and then i just grabbed a pack of paracetamol and a pack of ibuprofen that's just a habit thing because yeah, have them while before you can't have them. Do you know what I mean? Right, I'm completely running out of space. So I'm just going to have to put it behind me now. Okay, I picked up a, a pack of mushrooms. Picked up a bag of the mini. I hope that delivery is not for me. It shouldn't be. Um, onions. Picked up a large cucumber. I've picked up some spring onions. I need these for the uh, ham and cheese cakes that I'm making. I picked up just one large leek because that's what my recipe called for. And it was £2.50 for um, a pack of 
leeks <laughs> and then this large one um was 87p so I got that picked up the bag of carrots we do love our carrots in this house um I picked up a pack of the baby British potatoes I picked up my bag of Maris Piper potatoes that will be used for um, mashed potato and things like that during the week. Just very certain things. I picked up, I was completely out of tea lights except for a Christmas scent. Um, so I picked up the 100 um, tea lights for £4.50. And I was also out of my English mustard. So I picked up that. Yeah. Then I just got Easter eggs for the kids. So obviously Nate's not having an Easter egg. He's I've got him those snacky bits I um in my last shopping haul. I got him those. So then Amelia and Zeke, because they're littler, I got them the I got them one of these small ones each, but then what I did was I got them a pack of these to go with it. So it's about the same cost as a regular Easter egg. So, and my uh, niece, Livia, I got her the Galaxy Minstrels. Oh, I love Galax, Galax, Ga I'm trying to say Galaxy, Galaxy Minstrels. That's actually quite a hard sentence to say. And then for my nephew, Parker, and Ava and Indy, I got them all the M&M's brownie. So you get two packs of the little M&M's and then the big egg. So that is the, at least I've got the Easter eggs done. For years we didn't even do Easter eggs. We were buying um, gifts and that did not work out expensive. So stick through the Easter eggs now. <laughs> right, so you guys are probably gonna be aware that from my Mother's Day vlog, I there was like an intro missing basically. So what happened was I had filmed the day before with uh, for Mother's Day so getting up in the morning ready for church showed you what my mum had gave me not for Mother's Day just, just gave me it and what happened was I uploaded all of that footage onto my laptop and then cleared my camera so that it was like free um, but what it did was it um, this on the DJI um, pocket too what it did is it named the new files the same as the ones that I just uploaded so the very f luckily luckily I realized as I was uploading I thought that's not right there shouldn't be two that's named the same so I stopped it but I had lost the first one where I'd shown what my mum had got me. I, th I think you got to see the, you did get to see the Converse that my girls um, bought me, which I absolutely loved. And I say my girls, I mean their partners as well, like it was a collective um, gift. So I'm really, really chuffed with that. Um, but my lovely mum, so when we went over on Saturday to see her, to take her out for a meal for Mother's Day, she said that she's got, she ordered from this company all of these wax melts. So she gave me, all the ones that she had duplicates for, she gave me one. So they're these. So that one's black opium and I'd never smelt black opium before. It does smell really, really nice. They all smell really nice. I'll tell you my favorite ones when I get to them. This is one million. Matchy matchy. I'm saving my favorite ones for last. This one is Olympia. How pretty though, it looks like little candy floss. It is Coconut Island. I love coconut. Like, I love to eat coconut, I love the smell of coconut. There's Clean Cotton, who doesn't like the smell of clean cotton? Then there is the Unstoppable Blue Fresh. Oh yeah, that is so nice. Oh, it brings back so many memories. But this is my favorite one. It's called Creed Aventus. I don't know if it's focusing. Just trust me. <laughs> yes, that's a men's aftershave, isn't it? Oh, that's beautiful, that is. So yeah, my lovely mum, she gave me all of those and she gave me a puzzle board um, to keep my puzzle on so that I can do that now. Anyhow, 
I will love and leave you there. I'm going to put all this shopping away. I'm going to make myself a lovely big drink because I'm so, so thirsty. I'm going to have a quick little tidy up, but I'm going to leave you there. So you don't, you'd, I'm not going to torture you with... <laughs> This is just a shopping a shopping video, but you got some you got some waffle in for good measure. I love you guys to bits. Know how important you are and that you're here for a reason. Be a blessing to somebody. And I'll catch up with you really, really soon. Lots and lots of love and God bless. And I think to myself thinking out loud we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time